Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the Snug Pack Scorpion 2 two person tent. It's not going to be so much a review today, but uh, an unboxing and a setting up. I've never unboxed it before, I've never set it up before, um, so we're going to see how intuitive it is to set up. Is it simple? Uh, is it difficult? I'm not going to read the instructions, I'm basically just going to crack on and, and see how I do. Right into it then. Now I've bought plenty of snug pack stuff before, uh, so it's never a surprise to me how small they can get things. There you go, look, still in its wrapper. And there she is. Okay, so just to give you an idea here. Here's a typical four season sleeping bag compared to a two person tent. And here's a two season sleeping bag. So there we go, a decent size. Let's get cracking on then. There's the instructions, which we're going to forget about for the moment. We go in here for a, a bit of a closer look. Um, first off, you can see the elasticated toggles that hold the tent itself or the inner tent itself onto the actual framework there we go under the outer skin leaving a nice air gap there and we'll just quickly unzip the tent there we go so that's inside there now it's not huge I'm not going to bother getting in and going into an in-depth. This is exactly how big it is. Um, it is a two-person tent, but I reckon I'd probably class it as a one-person luxury tent because you'd be very, very close to the person you're next to. Um, everything looks great in there. It's got mesh all around the sides to keep your bits and bobs in. It's got a little uh, hanging hook up there for you to maybe hang a light on so that you can see what you're doing and I guess any more in depth than that I will just leave that for another video maybe after I've used it a few times I've got to use it next weekend and the weekend after so maybe I'll do a follow-up to to how I coped with the the size of it so until then we'll zip it back up and we'll get into packing it up because setting it up is one thing but putting it back in the package and it came in is something completely different so Let's give that a blast. And there you have it. Back in its, uh, its pouch with not too much effort. Didn't have to force it that much. I suppose I could have took my time and got it a little bit neater to make it fall in there much easier. But I guess I was feeling the pressure of the camera and how long it might take if I was to go down that route. The point is, it's in there. I haven't had to squeeze it down with these compression straps to make it look smaller. It is, you know, it's in there. Brilliant, fantastic. That's just ready to be popped in the back of the car and deployed whenever I need it. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please like them. Please comment in the comment section below. Ask any questions if you've got them. And also, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye now.